welcome again next cli gives us several benefits here we have seen app.service.ts app.module.ts app.controller.ts there's a cli with command line we can create this file automatically if you open nasjs website then you will find find this like here generate a module nasjs nest g demo it will create a module okay copy this and open apps then terminal here is our terminal and paste this line and give this a name test okay and press enter okay it's create test module dot ts here it gives a folder name test and here is our test module dot ts it's their own test module okay we can experiment with others generate a controller nest gs nest g then co i'm copying this and create it nest nest g co then test one okay we have created it created a new folder test and gives us a controller.ts and test one controller.speak.ts and you know this is for unit testing and this is the main controller with test one the route path in this way we can create nest gs that is for service let's copy this and paste it and we want the service in test one so test one okay now it has been create a service in test one folder with test one service dot speak dot ts and test one service dot ts this is our pair one services and we don't need this so i am going to delete this first and here it gives generating a new resource to create a new resource simply run the following command in the root directory of your project nest g then resource okay i'm copying this and paste it with name test it gives us some several options that that is what transport layer do you use rest api graphql graphql microservice and coif sockets we need rest api so click on rest api would you like to generate crude entry points here is next question so i want it why so it's created test folder with all the file what we required and all the folders what we needed it gives dto then entities then controller service and module so i will create with this resource command to what we what i needed before going to any further we have to know what we are going to create and what entities that means database tables we needed and with folder name will be related to these entities so an e-commerce simple e-commerce site needed some entities like users then what we needed like products then we needed orders we needed shipping information we needed category that's it we may need other entities also it depends on business logic so this is most probably the list entities that we needed and if we close look at these entities every entities needed users entities user will create products or user will order products user have shipping information and user will create or add category 
So first we need users entities. So I am going to create first user entities. Then we will create category. After this, we will go for products entities. So in command line, I am first I go want to remove this paste. Then here I'm going to create new resource with name users. Okay, then enter. It asks what transport layer do you use? We are creating REST API. So REST API, then would you like to generate crude entry points? Okay, why? So it gives us users folder and there is entities and here is our user entity it gives just a class we use this class for our to create our entity to create entity we have to need an decorator that is entity and it's come it's coming from type rm so import entity from type rm then this if we create with this it will create user entity or user table in database but if we space if we name their entities then it will create what we specify so with this it will create users not user users entity and i am want to give this class name user entity okay it will create users entity but this class name is user entity okay there we need id and every column or ID needed some decorated decoration. So here is primary decoration, primary, primary generated column. This option, it will create primary column with auto increment. Okay, then ID is obviously number. And here, if you want they are specify the constraint name like primary key constraint name you can set like this pk user id then it will create primary constraint name with pk user id but i don't need this it will automatic name something then for every column we need column decorator It's also coming from type rm and column first column is name and it's string then column email email is string we need column password This is string. We need roles. Roles is an array, but I set its array with enum value. And how to use this enum value? Okay. Yes, there is roles. I want to create an enum in users. So, so I want this enum in src folder under src, not user folder. I want to name this utility. Then under utility, I want common. And under common, I give this name user roles dot enum dot ts. Okay. Export enum roles. Admin admin is admin. Then user equal to user. 
I want just two roles. If you want, you can add save this file. Now in user entity, I want roles. So it's imported roles from user roles dot enum. So roles. So roles is object, but it needs to be column. And we have to say what type these. Then type type is enum. Then enum. What is enum? Which type of enum? That is roles. Okay. Array. It's true. Then default. What would be default? Default is roles dot admin or user. This should be user. Okay. Then save it. Now open users module. This is our users module, and we have to import these entities. So here imports and not only imports it needs to be with type rm so type rm mo module dot for feature then we have to specify which entity we need our user entity that is if we create multiple entity then we have to just specify this after comma okay now save it open app dot module okay here is test module user module test module just remove this And it's automatically imported users module. So we don't need to manually do this because we use Next.js CLI. If we don't use, didn't use Next.js CLI, then we have to manually import this module. App module is our now entry point. Every module we create, we have to import this module there. And app controller, we don't need this anymore. App service we don't need this just remove this and i'm going to also create delete this file app controller then app service but we need this app module okay now save this file and open db data source and here we have to need to specify the entities which entities we needed and we know There is some if you want you can specify every entity with import but here is an technique that is dist then then slash then star dot entity then dot ts comma dot js that's it so entities it will look for in this folder every file with dot entity name and there is naming convention here if we look at this user dot entity so if we click create another entity then we have to name this with dot entity dot ts otherwise it will not found so save this and here is synchronize false we have to make it true if we make it true then it will automatically create our entities otherwise we have to migrate we will see how to migrate but now let's see what it will do 
open pg admin and here is our buzzer api database table database and if we go for schemas then here is tables we don't have any tables then open app then open terminal now npm run start dev so there is no error and if our code successfully run then it will automatically create our user table with name users in database so open pg admin and here is our tables refresh this here is our user table and here is our columns id name email password and roles that is it next what we will do is migration okay till then bye